Question three on this OCR gateway P1 section. Energy losses in the home can be reduced by energy saving measures. One measure is to put foam covered with shiny foil as insulation in the cavity. And they've given you a diagram here to show you a cross section through that wall. So this is the inner block wall, the structure of the house. This is the outer cladding of the house, the outer brick wall. And inside the middle we've got the foam insulation which contains air in a cavity, so the air is trapped in there, and some shiny foil. Now, it shows you the direction of the heat loss, which normally is going to be from a warm inside to a cold outside, but sometimes actually insulation happens in the other direction to keep the house cool. But that's not too important for this question, really. What are we asked to do? Describe how energy is lost through the wall from the inside to the outside and how the insulation reduces different types of energy loss. Ah, different types of energy loss. I know what this question's about. This question's about conduction, convection and radiation. The quality of written communication will be assessed in your answer to this question. Whenever you see the little um, pencil and this statement, you know that you're going to need to write with a clear structure and with clear sentences. Um, so I'm going to suggest a clear structure for you now. I'm going to suggest that you take the three main elements that I've highlighted for you, the three main elements of the insulation, and you write a short paragraph about each one. So firstly, the foam. Okay, now the foam uh, is something which is trying to reduce the first energy transfer conduction that should give you a clue the trapped air in the cavity is something which is trying to reduce convection so make that your second paragraph and by paragraph i just mean a couple of sentences doesn't need to be really any more than that a couple of detailed sentences and then the shiny foil that is trying to reduce radiation. So pause there now, get yourself a bit of scrap paper or on your paper beneath, have a go at writing yourself uh, a three paragraphed answer. One, two, three. Okay. So let's see what kind of details that you should have put then. The foam reduces conduction because the foam is a poor conductor or the foam is a good insulator. Now, any of those words in there will get you the detailed level three answer. Now, also, you could add the detail, the foam's got air in it, that's a poor conductor. And also you could say that actually the blocks are not good conductors either. It's very important that you state that the foam is, one of the things it's doing is stopping conduction, stopping heat loss by conduction. So next then, the air in the cavity. Well, that is trapped air. Now, convection is when heat moves as a current from hot to cold. Hot air rises, cold air sinks. Okay, so this means because the air is trapped, it cannot do convection currents. Cannot form convection currents. So the heat can't move in that way. If it can't move, it can't form a current. So the trapped air in the little air pockets in the foam stops heat loss by convection. And then lastly, let's talk about radiation. Well, you should remember that shiny light surfaces are poor emitters and absorbers of radiation. Poor emitters. Emitters is the better uh, word this time. OK. 
Okay. Remember, uh, radiation is infrared IR. Okay. So what's happening? Maybe they're going to heat up, but they're not going to emit the heat out of the house. You can also give answers when you talk about this. Shiny light surfaces are good reflectors of infrared. It's the, it's the converse, isn't it? Good reflectors of infrared. It's the same statement. But again, you must in that paragraph there state that shiny foil reduces the heat transfer by radiation. So a nice quick question, the three main methods of heat transfer. Let's go for question four.